All right, guys. Hello and welcome back. It is time for the ace match of the finals for the Week Six North American Challenger Cup. Picks and bans are just being flown through right now. These guys know what they want to pick, know what they want to ban. I'm Zayden here with Adonis. Why don't you run us through what they've picked up and banned out so far? Right away, we see Bologna once again banned out by Eager, but this time they've switched to an Isis as well. Uh, on the other side, Return has banned out Bastet and. Sir Ket leaving the Sylvanas open, and immediately we saw Anatoly first pick. There was absolutely zero hesitation, but Return wanted that. They knew that they would pick that and get the Poseidon and Thor after that in Return. Uh, looking for that early game pressure that we saw from game one from them out of that Thor pick. And then Dare to Care picks up Hoonbots, and Aurora picks up Uller for Zapman. Dare to Care, that last game, looking for those big plays. He is definitely itching and trying for that MVP spot again. Ul getting picked up as well to be the for the 80 carry role on the side of Eager, but to answer back, then to pick up Athena before we move on to the counter banning phase. So, some pretty big potential bans still on the table. There's still a lot of assassins available. No, still a couple assassins available. They don't really need one. Actually, I'm looking at the actual picks and bans. I've been doing production stuff, so I'm behind right now. <laughs> what are they going to look to ban out here, Adonis? What are you speculating while I finish trying to find Athena in this list? They're probably going to look to ban out a solo laner. Or probably a mid. It's probably going to be a mid mage. Um, and it looks like yep. uh, Raw is going to be banned out there. I thought Agni, but I guess they don't want to deal with the healing combo of Raw and Sylvanas. Uh, yeah. Probably good chance that we'd see two Lotus Crowns picked up. And that is very hard to fight into. And then Jablanke picked up, or excuse me, banned out by Eager. They do not want Nevin to get that god. He did very, After very well back in game one. Yes. I... I, I don't see them going Ho Yi again. I mean, it's a possibility. It didn't work out well in that game. It, it, he's more of a late game god. He never got to late game, so they could go for it. I can pretend I'm trying to manipulate the caster's curse. Was Ho Yi is getting hovered over? Many, many people in chat will be happy about this one right now. If it gets locked, oh, in, only a hover. Will they go for it? The timer's ticking down. About five seconds left. It locked. is going to be locked in again. So Ho Yi dual lane. Maybe I'll learn the abilities during the, the anti-ghost timer break this time. We got Dive Bomb, Sunbreaker, Ricochet, something and some, Ricochet. something on the two. Hunter's Mark. Hunter's Mark. Hunter's there we Mark. go. What's there the we passive go. Uh, I know that. Without <laughs> I, you can't be crit. I don't know what it's called, though. Uh, it's something about not getting crit. What? Yana's we'll, we'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. For eager. <laughs> Partial credit. Giannis half credit. And, <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Four out of five. Um, so Giannis and Tier highlighted once again. Uh, tier very well. I mean, I, I would almost say eager won the game off the heavy hammer tier invade. It was so effective. And then mm -hmm. after that, they snowballed. They took all the enemy buffs. They took uh, on both sides of the map uh, and then just continually put the pressure out on Thor. Um, Cloud couldn't really do much in the mid lane. And these two gods will be picked up. So Giannis um, grabbed here for basically an anti-global to Thor. We saw this in, in round, uh, excuse me, in the first match as well or earlier in the tournament, where the Thor Global is incredibly strong, but the Giannis mm -hmm. Global is able to match it on these rotations. So Amazon Cobb getting hovered over, it would be interesting. Sun Wukong getting hovered over as well, just making me go through this list rapidly. It's going to be Vimana, however, getting locked in for the final pick on the side of return. Going over to Salt Machine in that solo lane. We'll be facing off against Anatoly's tier. Assuming he doesn't kind of get caught out of position and fearless under the enemy tower early on, he should be able to do okay up against Anatoly, unless they look for the early invade. We saw earlier Vimana kind of getting pressured out early. The invade, without that mana buff, he can have a bit of a rough lane matchup, even with that bluestone pendant providing a decent bit of mana regeneration. But it's going to be uh, Ho Yi Athena in the dual lane, Poseidon mid, Thor in the jungle on the side of return, while Eager looking to make some big plays. Dare to carry on his hunt bats again. Sylvanas by Aurora, who got MVP for playing Sylvanas, with the, as Hindu put it, grab after grab after grab, or pull after pull after pull. One of the two, both implying the same overall result. Somebody is going to find themselves in a very bad spot and probably be dead in a very short few moments. Yeah, for sure. I'm I'm very interested on, this, on these picks and bans. They let Sylvanas through, and the whole point of that was so they could grab the Thor and Poseidon, which means if their Thor and Poseidon aren't effective early, and they're losing their dual lane simply because Sylvanas has the best push of any support far and away, it's it's a risky trade-off. You are mm -hmm. If you give up Sylvanas, you basically guarantee that your dual lane will be pushed up um, unless you have heavy rotations. But that also may be the point. We might see the Thor look to counter gank, or excuse me, to gank that dual lane because they know they're going to be pushed up. Yeah, well, definitely have to see how they look to play this one out. It's going to be interesting. I'm hoping that return may have a bit of a better response to the early game invade that Eager could possibly bring out this time. 
I don't want to see them have the same sort of misplay where they lose the game right out of the gates. It's all down to this one, guys. This is the last game of this best of three series. Whoever wins this one goes home first place for the week. If eager, do it. They lock themselves in first place. This is a potential thousand dollar game for the lineup on the side of Team Eager. So money's on the line for those guys. Return, looking for seeding points, potentially money down the road as well. But they still have a bit more of a battle ahead of themselves, and these seeding points would make an absolute huge difference going to the final week. So with that said, guys, we're going to cut to a quick break, let the anti-ghost timer finish ticking down, and we'll be back with the final game for Week 6 of the North American Challenger Cup in just a few. Alright guys, it all comes down to this. Eager facing off against return. It is currently one game to one game in this best of three matchup. It's the finals for the Week 6 North American Challenger Cup. I'm Zaiden here with Adonis. As these teams look for some early game grouping, early game wards, they're not looking like they might find somebody out, but Eager could potentially end up rotating in around behind return right here. Or, or behind Eager right now, excuse me. This is a very big invade coming out. I do not believe this actually has been spotted. They might spot Clow, however. Yeah, this is 3v5 though. Clow actually in a bad spot. Could take a lot of damage before the rest of his team rotates in, but there it is. They're gonna go on Lassus. Lassus could fall here. First, First blood. blood coming out from Salt Machine. Lassus, did he level up his one? He may not have. I thought I saw an unstable vortex. I may have been mistaken. He, uh, yep, he leveled up he his unstable vortex to try and do damage to Cloud. I recognize that. Immediately yeah. turned on him, picked him up for first blood. So yeah, they definitely did not spot that invade out. They may have looked to play that one completely differently. They thought they caught Cloud dead to rights, not realizing that four members return were already on their side of the jungle. So early word placed down. Eager Look once this again. To invade. Yeah. Not deterred by that in the slightest. First blood doesn't mean a whole lot. When everyone is still otherwise level one. Four man invade into three. They know this is coming. Clow about to pay for that. Will fall. That's going to be one in this invade. Damage buff stolen away as well. They're not going to look for more right now. This does mean that Anatoly is being left to his own devices over in the solo lane. He's going to pick up his mana buff, head to lane on his own. He'll be okay. But the rest of the map, 1v1 yep. right now. Gershank versus Lasses. You know, Thor versus Yanis. Not a common mid lane matchup early on. Nope, Grishank will actually rotate into the mid lane instead of uh, staying over there in right lane. Grab that free experience, and Lass is getting really low, but Dare to Care is rotating in. His hammer is is down because he has a stun. Ooh, he's looking for another kill on the Dare to Care. Minion's going to help out on this one if they can find the aggression. Gershank very low. low. Portal may... Uh, they will. I don't think might have helped out on that one, but Lassus will find a kill on the Gershank. Eager right now, 2-1 to one on the back of an invade, plus a gank, or none of this, a gank, just a sort of slow fight in the mid lane. So right away, First Blood has already been answered back by Eager. It's pretty even for now. But Eager are looking to apply aggression all across the board, but so return as an Anatoly was just pushed back under his tower. Never yeah, Anatoly. Left side, still level one. Force under a tower took a lot of poke, a lot of damage. And with Shibalanke, ooh, they have a ton of wave push. They're going to be sitting under the tower for a while. Yeah, I mean, right now... Sylvanas just lane. can't let Sylvanas through unless you're going to get a lot off of it. Wow, taking a good bit of damage in mid lane. Actually, he's st continuing to stay aggressive here. One more auto attack from Lassus. We'll finish him off. Tidal Wave. Lassus gets the last auto, and Grishank just barely missing the stun. Not going to be able to pick up the kill. He's going to turn on Dare to Care, but not enough damage. It's they're, they're trying to fight, but they're not leveling up, and then they're dying. Yeah. So this is pretty rough for them right now. Yeah, look at the levels at the bottom of the screen right now. You can really see it's pretty much a one level across the board advantage by Eager. The only person, people who are even right now are Tyr and Vimana over in that soul lane. And which, no, nothing real is going to happen over there. That said, Anatoly's taking it's a decent a, bit a of poke. Fight. Yeah, Anatoly's getting Prello. Clear the path coming, couple of attacks. Anatoly might actually fall here. Armored Umbrella does hit, but he could not find the last couple of attacks. Yeah, yeah okay. Assault Machine, relax. You just hit level 5. You have the Colossal Fury. But you have no defensive items. Dive into tower right there probably would not have ended well. Hey man, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta dive the tower. That's just how it works. And mid lane, Dare to Care actually getting stunned in the Whirlpool. Can take a lot of damage from Berserker's Rush. He hits five though! Fear No Evil comes out. Grishank falls and now Lassus. Spear Gun's gonna miss, but Dare to Care hitting five just when he needed to. Picking up that return kill on Grishank. Lassus found the end of a Vortex take, I'm assuming. I there you hammered go. over to watch what was going on in the slap fight. I, I did too. Though. Left oh side. man, just barely hitting five. That was fixed. Aurora gonna get taunted, but not gonna take a lot of damage. I mean, you cannot fight Sylvanas early on. No. He's level five to Wubbins three. He's healing up all the poke they're giving him, and especially with Nevin, who doesn't really have a ton of burst like Uller does. If he was an Uller, you know, he could have stunned and then comboed, but 
Who he just doesn't have that unless you can hit multiple ricochets. Yeah, and right now they're also still only level four. You do not want to get pulled in right now. It's a huge crowd control. There's the pull. So uh, Wrath of Terror gonna interrupt the leap out. It's gonna be enough. It was actually able to be used the second time, but the poison from the Wrath of Terror found that kill. So again, Eager finding a kill. Six kills to one right now. It's they have a very big uphill battle ahead of them for return. The kills are just getting added to the board one by one for Eager. They're fortunately about to start getting ultimates online. The dual lane still is a little ways off. Force under the tower. They've also lost a lot of gold. You see that gold differential already starting to come out. 400 for the 80 carries supports about 600 gold difference because of those two kills on Sylvanas right now. For sure. Last game, it was a much bigger detriment, though. They still have the Poseidon, the Thor, and the Athena combo. That alt combination is huge. Great mid-fight potential, great anywhere potential, and a lot of heavy rotations coming out from it. That's what we really need to see Return utilize to get them back in this game. They need to be looking for a pick, especially on Lassus, because Whirlpool will lock him in place unless he gets an early beads, which he does have online, so never mind. Pool just barely misses. Here's the combo we're talking about, Lassus, but he's just not going to take any damage from it. Yeah. As Clow just kept pressuring forward there, one versus three. Poor life decision. Yeah, it's that little bit of extra protections coming out from just being a couple levels ahead, extra health as well. A full-on combo right now. Cloud cannot look to fight Lassus 1v1. Invade coming out. Salt Machine finally found that kill on Anatoly. He's been looking for that all game long. Left side though, damage buff invade was successful. Aurora picked that one up as Hoyu joins the party. They might look for a pick here, but they have to be careful. Love and going forward. Not going to look for the taunt right now. Uh, the grab, however, will be good. No real follow-up. They might look to disengage. Wubbin considering using the Defender Olympus just to get the hell out of there. But realizing the follow-up was not coming in, decided to save it, but they're looking for the counter-engage. Instead, Zatman finds one. Looking for a little more Sacred Monk teleport forward. Ultimates are not available. Dare, uh, Dare to Care's Fear No Evil still on cooldown. So fortunately right there for return, the Ultimates just were not there to commit on the side of Eager. For sure. Lassus now pressuring mid, but taking a little poke himself. Once again, Lassus continues to play this hyper-aggressive mid lane. It didn't work out for him in game one, but game two and three have been fantastic for him. Cloud chunk for 300 oh, damage poke. off that already. That's just off the passive on Lassus, just giving him that little bit of extra damage. Portal through the wall. Evan looking could be in trouble. He will get picked yeah, up. Yeah, Nevin's just going to fall there. Wrath of Terra and full combo from Zatman, and they just weren't having it. That's going to be an F6 this time at 5 minutes and 40 seconds. Eager takes first place in week six of the North America Challengers Cup and secure first seat, I believe, for the summer relegations. Indeed. that, that is, They are locked in. That is also a first place lock in for these guys, I believe. Double check my numbers quick. I have a note here. Yes, it will be. All they need was one first place victory. So not only is it a summer split qualifier invite for those guys, but it's also an extra thousand bucks. It's going to secure that $2,500 first place cash prize. Going into week number, I know, uh, week seven, they could look to just take a week off. There's no, they don't even need to come out if they don't want to. Or they, they they'll, could, they'll be here. They're, uh, yeah, they're going to be here. They'll be here, and I'm hoping, and my fingers crossed, they pull out all sorts of crazy picks, crazy shenanigans, just look to put on a damn good show. Because, let's face it, they're locked in. They have nothing to lose at this point. Well, they get a little practice potentially as well, but I want to see the crazy stuff. That's true. They, they're going to be playing spoiler to the other teams uh, that are yeah. seated uh, around that 3-4-5 mark. So uh, it, it should be a good week, especially if, like you said, they play some interesting, some experimental picks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll definitely have to see what they look to do. But that said, guys... That's going to wrap things up here today. Eager took home first place. Second place went to return. Legion took home third place. It'll help them out with the seating chart, but they are now locked in for second place as well going forward, I believe. Yes, I had to check the notes on that one as well. They'll be locked in for second place, so nice little chunk of prize for those guys. So some more potential crazy games coming out. Maybe some practice, maybe some experimental stuff. We'll have to see going into week seven next Saturday. That said, we'll be back here tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I don't know the GMT time, so anyone watching from Europe, I do apologize. I probably should know that. But nevertheless, someone will post it in chat more likely than not. Hindu, save us. I believe you're still watching. But yeah, I think that's about it for today, Adonis. I think that's it. Thank you for having me. Uh, rest, in, rest in Hindu, guys. Rip Hindu in chat. Uh, his internet went down, and thankfully, Zyodin, uh wanted to cast with me for some reason. I don't know. Pretty bad. It's a good time. And I figured I'd have to meet you eventually and get to know you and see if all the bad rumors I heard were in fact true. I, I'm still undecided who, who said on the rumors. Who said it? I, I was sworn was to it secrecy. Was it APC? 
I, I've heard pretty ABC, much everybody I've it. spoken to. It's like that Adonis <sighs> guy. Do not seriously that Adonis guy. Just no, just no. Avoid him at all costs. But you hear? Oh I, I'm undecided. To be honest, I'm undecided. <laughs> But yeah, thank you very much for stepping in, helping me out with the finals today. Thank you for Hindu as well for the earlier games. Thank you as well to Cooper and APC and all the other high-res guys on the production side of things and the admin side of things that I have not had the luxury to actually speak to. It's actually quite nice not having to deal with the admin stuff. So yeah, they, they deal with the people. I just watch games and talk about games. It's a good time. So yeah, without further ado, guys, for high-res, for my co-caster Adonis, for a Hindu man who was with us earlier on today, and you know, I've been Zayden. Have a great day, great night, great afternoon, depending on where you are in the world.